Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> What's up, people? Welcome to Feature Friday. Today it is a Friday, and everyone's eating chocolate. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. How did you see that? Because I can see you fiddling in your hand. Anyways. Yes. Welcome. Well, I thought it would be fun to check out um, some Chinese music. Chinese today. artists. We obviously know Jackson, uh, Jackson Wang. We yes. obviously know Lei. Yes. We know Wavy. Yes. Um, we know uh, Juan. Chen Yu. Chen Yu. Yes. Uh, but that's about it. So obviously. Hua. It's not Huang. <laughs> Is that that's what I said? Oh, Hua. 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 Chen Yu. Um, so very limited knowledge. Yes. Um, so we thought it'd be really fun to sort of check out like, uh, you know, that side of the market. Because it's ginormous and also a lot of our favorite artists actually, like Lay is one of Valeska's favorite artists, Jackson's one of my favorite artists, are actually from China. So I thought it'd be interesting to sort of see what their vibe right now that is over there, mm -hmm. what commercially does well there, and just learning about a different uh, industry, which actually is all about what Feature Friday is all about to begin That's with. That's right. Actually, yeah, Valeska's birthday. It is this Sunday. And you're all invited to the party because we're going to be live streaming yeah. for the Cooking Bastard. Yeah, which is like, like a cooking show. If you're new to the channel, it's like a cooking show that I, that I do. Like, yes. But I've made, I only make desserts. Yes. I so, don't make anything else. So do tune in. and then we'll obviously. What time? What time? What time are we tuning in? Uh, like, bam, 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 bam. I think 12 is a good time. Like 1. 1. 1 p.m. Worldwide, it's not a bad time. For UK that. time. We're going to be starting my pizza party. For my birthday, yeah, so you're all invited. Yeah, I think everywhere is not a bad, not a terrible time. Yeah, I think it's a We've reasonable time. time a, so yeah, not too bad. But um, yeah, do tune in on Sunday and also do enjoy our song right now. Yes. <laughs> Noches en vela me has dado todo Como un autor y poeta Con esa voz de profeta Me has dado casi todo Entre el cielo y la tierra Entre el amor y la guerra Te he dado todo Desde el separo So we're gonna start right go, going right ahead yeah. with the with the music situation, and this is Khan uh, from from the Kai group. I don't uh, Khan Kai. I don't really know exactly what what it is, but this is for, he was a mentor in the show Youth with You, the one that Lisa used to, uh, was doing as well with the with the dancers. Oh, this was a mistake. I told you. <laughs> I told you it was a bad idea because that's like Nutella in a bar. Oh, I just need some energy. Yeah. So, th so this is from that show, Youth with You, and it's like a showcase. So they work really hard to perform any song, and then they have to do like a little showcase. And I think, I think, if I'm correctly, he was one of the coaches oh, on, awesome. on the on the. And this is his song. So oh, let's give it a watch. Yeah. Let's go. It's called Lover. Lover. Yeah. Ooh, look at the studio. Sick video. Oh, it's live, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a it's a live per, it's like a performance video. A love story. Ooh, okay. He's got a cool voice. <laughs> this is 
is it a training program so oh, that you're training idols in, in youth with you do you remember when we watched lisa coaching these girls oh yeah but that's in korea no this is in china oh, it's, it's a chinese china. show oh is it yeah oh damn yes so is that what what, what show is that where lei and the jackson start dancing oh there was a dance battle show also from china oh sick and then also the singer is also from, from China. China. Oh, yes. Six shows have got over there. They've Go got on. really cool bit programs. Yes, they do. They're sick. Ooh. That lady's very pretty. They're all really good. It's, 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 it's over. Okay. Yeah. Just in case, because sometimes they put yeah. a little this, this thing snippets at the end. But that's a great. Look, this is this is the one with they did with Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Oh, nice. But that is a brilliant example of how to let a song's atmosphere take over and let, let it, it's sort of like, um, it let, lets the audience acknowledge the moment and sort of look around and understand what just happened. Yeah. Understand the atmosphere on a deeper level. It's like, you, you sometimes hear this from uh, uh, top artists where it's like, oh, I didn't enjoy the moment enough sometimes. Mm -hmm. Things rushed. Maybe they, they won an award and they just kind of like rushed and then you kind of, didn't have time to sit down and settle down and enjoy the moment and yeah. understand what you just experienced. Music sometimes does that a lot where it's too fast, it's too 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 quick and you don't have enough chance to uh, to digest. Yeah. During this still the 4 minute period mm -hmm. of this experience. It's brilliant. I love it when sometimes music videos give you that opportunity to without sacrificing length, they yeah. still give you that opportunity to digest and understand kind of what the vibe of it was this sort of sensual vibe that the song was creating this uh, feeling of mischief mm -hmm. mischief uh, danger uh, troublemaking mm -hmm. uh, um, being sort of a, a, a utilizing water and uh, these colors the sort of very seductive yet uh, a bright colors yeah it was um, very bright very enticing in the in the eyes yeah it's, it's kind of same of like now with like you know what we're seeing with G give you on and justin bieber's uh, uh Peaches, collaboration, collaboration yeah. it's neon it's sort of this bright colors but yet very like attractive and seductive mm. um so it's like a new type of a, a color coordination to to represent sensuality i think the production of this is absolutely astronomical i, I awesome if this to be a performance video that's included in a show i've never it's seen anything like that lover. yeah mm. that is absolutely crazy i love that i think we should be fed more of that in the mainstream media like that's, that's a, the type of stuff you want to pay money to watch it's certainly a good idea yeah and an idea that i don't understand why we wouldn't get everyone else it, on tv absolutely i get this is great i think it's a lot of effort to think about it like you could just have the stage in the same studio where everybody else is and then you, you you wouldn't have to invest in 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 uh, post uh filming Right. You know, you, you wouldn't have to uh, invest in editing or anything like that. You just like do an extra piece of content. It's just in, in the show. That's why it's so interesting to sort of see and, and uh, observe and study. I, I've always said I think there's so many industries that do things so differently, especially music and the entertainment world, that mm. there's so many lessons to be learned from them. I mean, it, China, just on its own, it's, it's one of the few music uh, entertainment industries that I mean, Jackie Chan is a great example of that. Yes. You know, he built an empire just there before even making it to Hollywood. International, right? Yeah. So it's it's a whole world over there in terms of entertainment, and uh, it's enough. You know, and and it's actually it's so big that and it's so popular, such a ginormous part of the market worldwide mm -hmm. that you get shows that bring international artists just to be marketed into it because it's also a very difficult industry to get into Absolutely. from what I've heard to kind of break through yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah. know Dimash obviously broke through uh, uh, KZ obviously broken through Katy Perry you know Jesse J Jesse J yeah. sorry Jesse J not Katy Perry kind of I was like well okay specifically decided to, to target mm -hmm. that market yeah because it's a brilliant market to have and the opportunities to collab of collaboration just with artists it's outstanding yeah it's astronomical it really is fantastic this is crazy I really like that it's 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 kind of wild and then if following up, yeah, yeah. Following up, we have then uh, Eric. Eric, but his name is Eric L L Lou. We got like lyrics. Is it? Um, I think he might do, but w wait, give me a second. Yeah, maybe his name is just Eric. No, maybe no, his no. surname is obviously. No, no, no. Wait a second. I, I had it here. Do, 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 do. Because his huh? name is Eric Chu. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. 
And this is his song, Unbreakable Love. Right, I see. And I think it does have subtitles. Yeah, I think it, it, it had him on. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, exciting. Like, one, one of the songs that kind of rem it reminds me of the same vibe is like Michael uh, Bublé. Uh, when I used to listen to the, to him, and it's kind of like, the music videos are kind of similar with this sort of filtering. Atmospheric, and atmos yeah. Ad atmospheric vibe. It, it seems as well like, uh, I'm, I'm not sure actually if this is Mandarin, or because in China there's also so many uh, uh, variations, right? I don't know if, they call, if you actually call them dialects. Again, this is the awesome thing about the podcast, that I know different people from all around the world are going to watch. So if, if you do know... Uh, kind of what specific uh, dialect this might be, do let us know in the comments because I'm, I'm sure also someone else that may not know will benefit from it, and especially I will. Um, but it, it does feel like, um, yeah, this, this sort of, uh, it seems like Chinese has this like, uh, yeah, like lullaby type of thing or like a love letter type of thing of, of, of complete heartbreakness. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of like, Musically, there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of longing. It's because of the shows. The, the, there's lots of show. Oh, sounds. I think, well, I was talking melodically, but uh, I'm going to pay more attention to the, phone the phonetics. Because in yeah. other podcasts, we would check out other music. Like, for example, uh, Tagalog from, from the Philippines. It's very, uh, it, 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 uh, it's naturally a very twangy language. Then if you look at, like, uh, uh, Italian, for example, is a very elongated language, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you look at a South a Korean, it's a very percussive language. Mm -hmm. So Spanish is obviously very uh, uh, weirdly melodic. Sing song, yeah. Yeah, melodic, naturally. Mm -hmm. um, so each language has its own kind of like attributes yeah. and benefits to singing in there. I'm going to so. pay more... I was paying more attention melodically and musically to what was happening. The longing, the nostalgia, it's... The minor chords with with a combination of, of really sweet vocals. So he's got a very young voice, right? Like yeah, a, very refreshing. Like that um, was beautiful. Like the, the your significant other is like ready to like uh, maybe move on, but that that doesn't mean that you are. You know. That is very true. That, that is so spot on. And that's kind of you're right, mate. For what? Well, my phone. Oh, here. I don't know. I don't, oh, here, here. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like um, it, it, it's like a, it's a, that that saying of like it takes two to 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 do the dance of love, right? Yeah. But it, in many many cases, sometimes like uh, the dance itself may become monotonous or it loses its sort of spark, but one of them may still want to dance. That's right. Well, the other may not. And then you're standing there dancing alone. Yeah. And maybe you get you do get lost in the crowd, yeah. right? Because it, it's it's the world, right? And there's so many other people. And I like that sentence a lot. It's like I I, I hoped you'd not you'd not lose me in the crowd. That's so nice. And then that sentence of like, you're the loveliest girl in the world. You don't usually hear that mix of words. You're the nicest. You're the most beautiful. You're the most amazing. But, but the, the loveliest, loveliest, like the woman that I. That was capable of the most love. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a really nice sentence. It's beautiful. I think lyrically speaking is also so endearing and, and charming in, in a way that it, it's, it's heartbreaking at the same time, but it's so charming and endearing. And then you have the, the now that I paid attention to the... Uh, Did notice what I said. Yeah. It, it's because of the breathiness in the language. There, in, in, there's a lot of... A breathiness so it it applies really well to uh, singing ballads because then you can use that breathiness for for depth for texture uh for endearment like we were just watching just now and it's it's great i think he, he's beautiful that's beautiful that is awesome, it's like the fact that he wrote that for somebody out there Kind of like raise your little tiny avocados. And I wonder in China, how is it like in many in industries actually have like their own different ways of uh, cr creating talent and exposing talent. Mm -hmm. Like obviously the most predominant one at the moment of generating talent consistently. It's uh, obviously in Korea uh, through the whole idol system. I wonder if that exists in, uh, in China. Well, you, we just watched. Yeah, but that's a program where they're training people to to be the next idols. But is that the most predominant? I don't. I, I think it's for example, common. I think for ex it's very common. Because, for example, like in when it comes to soloists, yeah, that's not really a must. 
That's not the way to go. No, usually not. Well, actually, that's that's debatable, right? Because the biggest soloists at the moment were idols. Good point. Right. I actually don't know. Yeah. But it's hard. I'm I'm talking out of my they just, <laughs> belly button. <laughs> but yeah. I just you know I just wonder what it must be like. But usually in the normal music industry, like outside of Korea, you don't have to be an idol to be a soloist. Actually, you are a soloist before you are anything else. Yeah, but that's what so I mean. Like, what, what, I don't know is if it, it's the same in China. No, but also take the idol system away right reality shows are ginormous and sort of like uh, this this uh survival survival shows, shows are mm-hmm. ginormous even here like in the western world they, that's kind of a way to reach stardom mm-hmm. right like love island and all that stuff you know mm-hmm. but there it's obviously it's like music and and you, i'd imagine i want to know whether that's also a thing in in China, because you always have the singer, right? That's kind of like a survival show type of thing. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're already consecrated, like, they're already... They're already artists. Artists, yeah. They're already renowned, respected in the industry With already. audiences that may be outside of China. Exactly. And then they also have Chinese con- contestants. Yeah. But they are already considered legends Big. in, yeah. in so China. It, so it's not really like, well, especially the singer. That's the only example we know. That's why, again, this is so awesome to do because I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, check this this uh, uh, show out. And actually, no, that's not that's like an anomaly. It could be, right? Because it, it's such an awesome likely, show. Most likely, yeah. I think that that's probably one of the best shows with, that are so specific. I don't think that that happens often. Right. At least I don't think so. But let us know. know. Let us know. I'd love to know more about it. Yes. Okay, then we got moving on. We're moving on to Luhan okay. and his uh, on fire music video. So, if I'm correct, he was a member in EXO. Oh, yeah? One of the members. Oh, yeah, that Luhan. Met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We checked out uh, that video where they're like in this little cube. Was thing. it like labyrinth. Overdose? They were like in a la- labyrinth. Was it Overdose? I don't know. I where we saw e- all members of original XO. The 12 of them. Yeah. Yeah. And there was, there was three of them that left, right? Yes. And they were all Chinese members? Yes, the three the three that left. So oh, see, that's interesting. That Lei Skei then. Chris. Chris. What player, man? Oh, I don't have a phone. Wu, Yu, um, Luhan, and I think it was Tao as well yeah. that left. Um, yeah, let's see, Go let's back. see, let's see. So it was... Do you want me to search over? So oh, you, you like. Chinese members. Yeah. So yeah, it was Luhan, Z, Z, Z Tao, Lei, but Lei's still in there. And then it was like Chris Wu. Quite love to know more Wu. about that. Like, what what happened there? They, they, they became really popular in China. They're still That's making awesome. music today, I think. And this is one of Luhan's uh, solo projects. I wonder if, if Lei would be allowed to collaborate with them. I don't think so. Tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. Yeah. Politics, I think it's tricky. Well, that would suit. On fire and lit. Oh, yeah. On video. Wow. Oh, by the way, people have requested a lot for us to check out Lei's lit. Uh, we've already seen it. Uh, we've Actually, seen it so much. <laughs> we've already seen it and Lei saw us watching it. Yeah, inception moment there. Insane. <laughs> yeah. But what I like, that was probably I think still the to this best. day the best video of twenty twenty. Absolutely, it takes the crown, no questions asked. Yeah. That's why when like the Grammys happened and I didn't see lit lit by lay, I was like, what? Well, what do you mean? That's the best music video. That, that video should have won an Oscar, a Grammy, <laughs> and, and a Golden Globe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was acting in there. It's yeah. like basically a movie. It was. But like for four minutes, yeah, five minutes, and then he also kind of like released an extended version of it, which album. is wild. Yeah, it was so good. Class. That album's great. It's very good. His new album Joker is fantastic. Oh, produ- producer, pr- pr- produced or something like that. I was yeah, saying it's pretty good. Yeah, you need to listen to it. It's oh. it's great. Now, this is Lou Han, and this is On Fire. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What what language, language are we reading? Yeah, English. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, I can't make you get your 
to bed with your shoes on we can't be mates So he put a lollipop in the fish tank and then now he's got it in his mouth again? Yeah, but it's obviously a different lollipop, duh. It's a bold assumption. My swag's on fire. I mean, what's he shaving? His skin is flawless. <laughs> Literally. He looks really young, but I know he's not. He never age. My swag's on fire. Beat production is cool. Ooh, wow. Intense. So Luhan and also has another song called Football Gang. Wow. It was in 2017, so it's not that long ago, to Eight be honest. I want to see how old he is, because he looks like 12. <laughs> they all do. They never age. They, 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 they're going to look 18 when they're 50. Luhan age. They literally have some of the best. He's skin. dirty. He is dirty years old, people. How? <laughs> Look at him here. Dude, I want to know skincare routine, what? diet, sleep, sleep path. And I know that guy is not sleeping. Yeah, definitely not. He doesn't sleeping. sleep. He, he he's out there hustling. Yeah, I, I can. Look, look at this face. Dude, How can that be thirty years old? Look. Those jeans are so insane. Huh? That makes no sense. Unbelievable jeans. They look. Got. Actually, I, unbelievable I, jeans they've got. Just in XO alone. You know what I mean? 30. Wow. Every, See, everyone that's why I look forward to turning 30. Maybe, you know, puberty will hit me then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but also, like, Lay, he looks 21. Oh, yeah, he does. He's, it, like, I think, like, maybe in the next five years. He's 29, though. He'll look 21, 22 now. Uh, you know. When he's like 35. Pushing 22. Yeah. <laughs> when he's pushing 40, he'll look 25. Yeah, basically. Like, what the fuck? I don't know how they do. And they work so much. They, they, they're they like touring the world and doing so many yeah, stuff all the time. They actually don't have. Like, a lot of people think they have some of the healthiest lifestyles in the world. They really they don't. don't. I'm not I'm saying sure. like, I'm not saying like uh, they do drugs or whatever. I'm just saying like, the sleep pattern alone, it's rough. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I, I was listening to uh, Jackson Wang talk about his like his uh, like his skincare routine, and he was like, "I just try to sleep as much as I can, whenever I can, wherever I can." Yeah. And uh, water, water is a key. Bunch of water. Yeah. Because when you are when your sleep pattern is like all over the place, you get dehydrated really quickly. So you need to drink twice the amount of water. To be on a stable, well, I know, hydrated moment. I don't know moment. how scientific that sentence is, but you do, 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 do need to drink a lot mean? of water. My scientific facts are proven. 
by the internet. No, you, Checked by the dude, internet. if you drink twice the amount of water you're required, that's no, that five would, liters. No, you what you would need, like, usually every day. Because daily people go, should consume about two liters a, a day, right? Two liters of water a day. I think that's usually what they say, yes. Yeah, well, you're supposed to drink more than that, like four liters of water if you're, like, dehydrated. I read about it, okay? <laughs> it is true. <laughs> also, a lot of uh, uh, electrolytes to keep you yes. good. But it's wild. And I, that alone Fs up your skin so bad. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, it's rough, man. It's not I easy. Know, really that life's just not easy at it. all. That's why sometimes it's like... Hmm. So a lot of people, like they, they sort of say this. Oh, wow, you know, they have such an amazing lifestyle. I want to be like them. It's like... Yeah. From the outside, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is rough what these guys do. And I'm sure cool. and I'm sure a lot of people actually would agree as well. Like the more you start investigating and the more you start researching their lifestyles and yeah, the more the you're invested you are, yeah. Of being in the industry, it's oh mate. Like do you do you, then that's when you really should ask yourself, it's like is that something I really want to chase? Because mm. it's not always it's actually one of the loneliest times as well it's you're not surrounded by you're surrounded by a lot of people but a lot of faceless people uh it's very lonely on the road it's tough on food it's tough on the dieting it's tough on the sleep it's tough on a lot it's tough of on things. pressure it's tough on your personal life it's not important i mean i'm painting it like it's doom and gloom there are some no, awesome no, no. bits about come it. come on but it, it, this is the part that doesn't get seen often I so agree. that so you know he is cool though i i Good for him. I want to see more of his stuff on my own time. And if you'd like to watch it with me, then let me know. So in EXO, was he like a rapper? I don't know. It's quite, I've, I've, only, I've only ever seen him once in EXO. So. I don't that, really and it know. Was in 2014, he seems 13? like he would be part of the vocal line. Right. So he's kind of vocal. He's very vocal forward. Oh, fair enough. Well, let us know more about Luhan and what, what else we should check out on the channel. Yes. And then we're going to move on Lexi. to Lexi Lou. Liu. Liu. So, Liu. Liu. I think I think it's li pronounced Lou. I have no idea, mate. I don't even know. How to Please name. let me know how to say these names and apologize in advance because I know I'm probably murdering it them all. It's difficult to actually because there's a lot of different names. Like when we did a Nigerian special, that was rough. That so was pronounce very hard. certain names. Also, when we we had planned, we we're planning on doing a Greek special. Oh fuck, that's gonna be difficult. Yeah, Hercules. So how are you? Guys? It's, it, it doesn't even. It's not even written the same way. Like how are we? In like a Romanized way. It's like written in their own... It's hard. It's like Russian. <laughs> oh, when we do a Russian special. Like, if... how are we going to... I'm just going to play music and just not Isn't introduce only, it. Only Russian uh, composer I know is Igor Krutoy. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, and I think that's it. Yes, yes. That's true. No. Diana. Kut... Ku She's a singer. Mm -hmm. Do you know her, right? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? What, what's her surname? I forget. Fudge. Yes. Hantu. Kurt. Kurt. I have no idea. Yeah. But she, she sounds like she literally ate it's, a sound box. It's fantastic. And she can do anything with her voice. It's great. She's beautiful. It's wild. Some argues like V from BTS. <laughs> anyway, okay. let's give this a watch. So this is Lexi Liu and her song Manta. It doesn't have any subtitles. So no, fuck. Okay, let me try and... I Probably. don't know if it's in English. I don't know. So it could be. Lexi. Someone saw it. Someone sent me a picture of me like doing this. It's like, dude, have you got a Twitch? No, no. It's because my earrings get caught in my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. I've never really noticed. Yeah, because I do, I do that sometimes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and it's like, ah! So like, it's because like, it gets caught. I yeah. see. I see. Uh, lyrics. It's like a... It's a fair mix between uh, English, English and... and and Chinese. I think the language is Roman characters, okay? I think, yeah, it doesn't really let you know. Oh, well. But yeah, but yeah, I've got it here. All right, let's play it. Ooh, wow. CGI on, like. Sorry, man, I missed that. Can you put it back? Sure. Apologies. Look, look how cool this is. It's like you're watching a video game. What is that? Mirror's Edge, that game. Cool. Who she signed with? Class. Cause holy guacamole. You don't need me. That's gorgeous. Not a simple as a 
Gemini. Oh my god, don't get me started. Her I freaking love freak Marshall would kill. Yeah, echo on let's do that. Okay, I'm totally being excited here. Pro people probably don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think a lot of people know who uh, Gemini is. Yeah. He's very new, but like new in the sense of like he doesn't release that much. Yes. Yes. But still good. I'm still obsessed with him though. Yeah, he makes nice. great music. Anyway. Oh, that mix is nice. Oh, She's really pretty too. She's really dope. I need to find out who she signed with. Who the hell is she signed with? She is signed. That is madness. Subscribe, man. She's awesome. Subscribed. Let's turn all the notifications on because she is fire. As you should. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, she is signed with Street, Street Voice, Voice TV. TV. On behalf mm. of... Seven Rights Society. Seven, seven Music Rights Society. Well, I'd imagine we wouldn't be familiar with many labels in here. Oh, good point. That's a really good point. Why would I? Well, why she's done stuff with ADA Rising. Uh, look, two years ago, that video there on the far right, ADA Rising. Oh, look at that. She's awesome. She's really, really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. My, the, the computer's a bit. Is it frozen? It's frozen. Oh, Take it off, mate. Just before it, it gets go. frozen and it explodes. Yeah, it won't do anything. Oh yeah, the lyrics. Oh, there we go. The lyrics you're saying is um. Well, it, you you have them down here. I was reading the whole time. Oh yeah. Yeah. All oh, right, fair enough. It's okay. I, I got it. I, I think. don't think it's ready. The thing is it. Uh, let's try. Still frozen. Man. Still frozen. Give it a second. It it ah there Yay! it is. <laughs> That's a cool outfit. We'll soon get a better laptop. She's really pretty though. <laughs> I'm obsessed! Ooh, she's she's really so pretty. beautiful. She reminds me of mermaids. What does manta mean? It's a type of fish. They're deadly. Yeah, she's eer so eerily good looking. She's saying devil fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because manta, manta rays are like deadly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? for days man absolutely i mean they're talking they're they're slapping you in the face with money with this video <laughs> literally she's passed ah. on that is so eerily cool i want to be part of that world Let's see, look at that. written and written performed, performed for her and then she jumps off and that's how we start my god yes Enjoy. directed by jeremy Z. Z. Presented by Nixie Music. 
I mean, I like I f with the back with the instrumental really hard. I'm freaking downloading that song right now. She's awesome. Nixie music. I don't Nixie understand why music. Manta though. Well, it's it's not, a type of fish. Yeah, but manta rays are not deadly, mate. Yeah, they killed that guy, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, okay, they can fine. be. They can be deadly, but they're not very deadly in comparison to other fish in the sea. Really? Yeah. But they uh, call them devil fish, don't they? Fuck. Yeah, like. Your friends? Yeah, but they're not poisonous, are they? They don't have poison. Well, yeah, okay, fine. Ma electrify you to death either. Like an eel, is that what you're yeah. referring to? Yeah, but I guess, yeah, but the thing is, like, manta rays are not usually known Just for being don't. deadly fish towards people. Oh, sorry, sorry. They're not known for that, you know? They're not. It, like, it, it's a freak case if someone's ever died. That's why it was so crazy. Oh, I always thought it was, they were like, fear. No, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I wonder what she means by that. Because she's not, she's not saying manta ray, that she's saying manta. Manta. Let's see what it means. Let's see what it means. I want to know what her actual point of it. Cause I like her artistry. That's cool. Manta. Yeah, she has the visual. Uh, the that vi I like. Yeah, see, the the, she's talking about that fish. It's the fish. Right. The weird fish. Let's see what, it, what will come up if I put devil fish in here. Devil. <laughs> devil fish on Google images like I, can, I imagine then it's because the manta is like that yeah devil fish the manta race you see maybe it's a type of mantas you see you see you see that's cool though right i guess it's because the manta ray then it's sort of like uh the the sea's scorpion oh. isn't it because it has a it has the the it has a string it has Stingy. a sting, right? So and then people on earth, like people on earth. So no people on earth, <laughs> but like on the ground. <laughs> desert creatures that people have become obsessed with. They usually use the scorpion as like a scary animal. But if 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 you talk, if you want to make a reference to that on the sea, you'd probably use the manta ray because it's probably the equivalent of that. I think it's like the V of the water. <laughs> I don't know how deadly the poison of a manta ray. And maybe I'm looking too deep into this. I <laughs> you know, think maybe you might cool be. Anime. Maybe I, it just sounds cool. You know? I think it is. I, I think it also fits the whole aesthetic. Because, that because she says she's flying like a manta. Yeah. This is the manta she's talking about. Like the a mantis. mantis. No, no, you think it's a mantis. mantis. No, they're I... not deadly though. Well, they're deadly flying to mantis. other animals. They're more deadly to other animals than manta rays are to other animals in the sea. But, but I, manta, but this is mantis. Yeah, yeah no, that's what not, it, that's not the same animal. I think animal. it's manta. I like, think she's talking about the fish. Ray, the fish, yeah. Yeah, because she said devil fish. But also she's electric, so it's more like an eel. Oh, yeah. But it also kind of reminds me, like, it gives me, like... Kylex Y vibes. That's what no, you know what it gives me? The show vibes. That that show called Sirens. Oh, yeah, that's right. But it's, like, eerie, but it's also, like, like the girl's really beautiful, but it's also Weird. very eerie. Yeah. So I think like I feel like that's along the same vibe. Fair enough. Yeah, go on. Let's, see, what, let's see what's going That next. was awesome. I like her. Okay, moving on. And I also like that they're including the lyrics in in, in every song that we've seen oh, so far. Oh, it's awesome. That's really dope. Makes it consumable for everyone. It's yeah. Well done. Okay, so then we're moving on to Tia Ray. Oh, and the this featuring is, Jackson, yeah? Yes. And this is her song Lucky Rain. And this is featuring Jackson Wang. Oh, nice. Jackson's actually releasing a track today. Yes. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The next generation of Asian rock, new water, new H2O. Have you seen the way I? It's the new generation of water. It's like Mars, isn't it? It kind of looks like it's in Mars. Yeah, I think the computer's passing out for no reason. Oh, I thought it was a video. I was like, no, whoa, no. that's trippy no, as hell. No. It's a computer. Okay, mi amor, everything's good. <laughs> You'll be fine. Well, Don't get. Uh, yeah, you see, you just got. Claudio needs to make a song yesterday. Yeah, put it in HD, please. It's, it's like not my fault. The computer yeah, is 360p. Man. Really? Oh, the computer can. It Don't can put go it in fourth. No, no, it's gonna collapse. It can go all the way. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, we will get a better laptop. And I do think they're like in Mars or something. Yeah, fools are like. Yeah. Definitely in the space. Ah, oh, look. Oh, you fucking muted it, mate. Oh, sorry. Because uh, when Jackson 
with that sort of a uh, what do you call it, growlish voice. Yeah. Like uh, grunge. Grunge, yeah. right? It's uh, very interesting because it could turn into a rap, but it would never kind of be a rap because you don't ever really get many rappers that can kind of do that melodically. Uh huh. Um. So I guess it, yeah, it's like it's like a ry- rhythmical speaking. Yeah. And um, but it's it's so interesting, kind of what that brings to the table for a feature, because like. I guess what you want to do in a feature is be be the best addition that you could have possibly been to a track and bring a sound that no one else could have brought to the track apart from you mm-hmm. when you work in a collaboration as a feature in a project. Mm-hmm. So I guess when you have that natural... Uh, uh, Grunginess to texture your voice, of your yeah. Voice, yeah, I guess that becomes a bit easier. Yeah, it's very distinct. It. Yeah, it's very distinct. And it's definitely distinct. I really like what he brought into this this collaboration. Also, the aesthetic really suits the the type of, of rhymes that we're getting in the in, in this in this uh, section of the song. It's cool. So I guess it does. I mean, I, I probably ask him and be like, "That's a rap, right?" But it is like an interesting uh, drift of a rap. Yeah, it's dope. I really like what's happening here. Lucky rain. <laughs> <laughs> right, I get it. You know what? Nice. It's, it, it's funny, isn't it? How the video makes you feel like fucking they're wasting their water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's God, like why are you wasting precious. it? Yeah, yeah. Why are you wasting away? You're right. living in Mars. <laughs> and then it's also like, it's so bright. Like, that shit has some special stuff in there. Well, I would think the Fluorescent. water pre- like preservatives would be weird in Mars. Like, a lot of stuff would be weird in Mars. But like, uh, the water, we... the elixir of life became extinct. Not extinct, but like precious like you would go to a bar to get water like it wasn't here you see that's weird i don't think that's what it was well she was at a bar and she got served a, a glass of was, water she wasn't the only one that had water i know but i'm just saying like that's a, that's an interesting thought itself what would happen if water became a like in a spirit instead of a right a uh a uh what do you call it a good hmm interesting wouldn't it the world would come to chaos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No, because it's essentially the elixir of life. No well, one can live without water. We will have to ask Elon Musk when he's living in it. <laughs> once he's living in Mars. Yeah, he's, lo- he's launching a Starlink. Which is basically, he wants to give the world... The opportunity it, to go to Mars. No, touristically. No, no, Starlink <laughs> is a this sort of project to give the world free internet. Ah! always thought that why do we have to pay for internet and everybody literally needs it no like it's also like weird, you gotta right? like have data and wi-fi yeah you know why and like everyone knows wi-fi is better than data and yet we still pay for data no because you, you're on wifi. the go because you're on the go yes so if i go to the corner there's no wi-fi there and mm. now we're slowly moving towards that direction where like if you go to london there is a a Wi-Fi in London. Hub, yeah. There's like a hub in the city, mm-hmm. right? But it's just it, it's not very fast. Yeah. It's slow, and it and it gives you like half an hour for free, yeah. and you have to pay for it. So like, you might as well just use your data. Absolutely. So it's like it's good for emergencies though. If you're running out of data and you would need to do something online, okay. It's good for yeah, good for sure. I see the benefit, it's right? Good. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, but. but then, like, you know, you go to trains and now buses and they all have that stuff. So it's kind of becoming like a universal concept for free. Yeah. So, but Starlink, I think, is taking it beyond that where everywhere. Mm. You the, can get You could get fast, Wi-Fi. quick, good working yeah, Wi-Fi. for free. That's awesome. Pay that man with a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Give that man a cookie. I mean, Anyways. I don't know where the, the commercial value for him is in that. Right, because it's satellites, it's through satellites. I don't satellites. actually, him and Jeff Bezos, I don't think they care about money anymore, <laughs> to be fair. You know, the funny thing is, Tesla, <laughs> Tesla, uh, uh, Elon Musk with Tesla, it was going to go bankrupt, they, and they were nearly about to sell it, like 2017, 2018. Really? Yeah, Apple wanted to buy it. Why? But he decided not to. Oh, good. Well, I think if Apple wants to buy anything from you, you're on, you're, hold on, you have a good idea. Yeah, 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 but no, 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 not that Apple would have bought it off of him, but like, why, why was he going bankrupt? That's an interesting thought. Well, manufacturing costs alone to make cars. It's very not a very expensive. profitable industry, actually. Ah, why do you okay. think there's not that many car brands? I don't know. It's not easy. 
I, I figured it'd be hard, but maybe not that expensive. Yeah, it's not easy. Well, I his spe- cars are like basically spaceships too. Yeah, but no one believed in them 10 years ago. But now they're the thing. And now they're the thing. Yeah, now How crazy is thing. that? That guy is so like... Cool. What? Bizarre. Like he is a normal. <laughs> He's awesome. He's probably the number one subject or example, I'd say, for subject. someone who may not be human living on Earth. Oh, yes. Most likely. You know what I mean? Like if, I if there's aliens among us, among us... He's one. He's probably one of them. Yep. Yep. Like if you've seen any podcast of him, the way he thinks is very bizarre. Even the way like his like his speech rhythm, it's really weird too. Because <laughs> he thinks. Yeah, he's thinking before he. He's not like speaks. me. He doesn't just spit out it's stuff. It's not. It's not like whatever happens up here happens out yeah, there. Yeah, like his tactic is thinking, and then saying a thought out loud so that it sticks. Mine is. Throw Whatever. a bunch of shit at the wall. See what sticks. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> see what lands. Anyways, let's see what's next. <laughs> right. So now we get a uh, uh, Xiaomi. I think this is, and this is the Lonely Flame music video. Oh, go on. The Lonely Flame. Lots of fire references today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, today we're on fire. This is on Mnet. This means this is with Korean? a Korean label. SM. It's SM. All right. Why don't we have lyrics in Korea, but we do have them in China? Let me search this up. The Lonely Flame. Show me. Show me. Chinese singer. The Lonely Flame. Lonely Flame lyrics. In English. English. A lot of people are searching out these names. Yes. It's It's in Mandarin. Oh, it's in Mandarin. But the... Let's see if we can... Okay, I've got... Oh, that's lovely. They've got like a translation, like context-wise. Aha, uh-huh, that's on. good. It's a Porsche 911, I think. But he's in Korea, because that's a number plate from Korea. Yeah. This is his label. Is he part of Super Junior? Awesome. Is it part of Super Junior? This is from uh, Label S- SJ. I don't know. That's a really good question. Lucky Rain, download. SJ. Uh, yeah, of course, it's from Super Junior. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, of course. You just said it so confidently. Yeah, we did because... Didn't we watch? Well, we saw my favorite uh, subdivision. He's in it, which is uh, um, uh, the ballad. Uh, Super Junior Cry. Yeah, but he is not on Super Junior anymore. I don't think. Mute Super Junior SM the ballad. So he was in Super Junior since two thousand eight. Eight. Okay. Super Junior M. Wow, I'm very confused. So it's a Mandarin version. Right. They used to do that a lot. They would have like a Mandarin subdivision. Like. They're still in it. Okay. Was well, he in the he latest must... comeback? This. I, I don't. No, was he in the latest comeback? No. Super Junior? No. Are you sure? Yeah. House Party. House Party. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Because I thought, that's what I mean. Like, I don't really recognize him then. No, me neither. But I just, I just kind, it just kind of clicked when I saw the S label, label S J. That's that's the label that does the everything Super for Super Junior. Yeah. Let's see active members of Super Junior. House party. Super Junior. As twenty twenty one has yes. nine members. Yes. And Xiaomi is not in them. So it's E Tuck, He Chovs, Yi Sun Shin, Dong Dong Hei. Yon, uh, Yon Hyuk. Yon Hyuk. Uh, she won a uh, Rai Wook and Hyun Hyun. And then Sung Min on hiatus since okay. 2015. Where he got married. But mm-hmm. so then associated acts are Super Junior Cry, Super Junior T, Super Junior M. Which is the Mandarin. And in Super Junior M, there is Xiaomi. I see. So and he's Sung Min would also be there, but he's obviously on hiatus. I see. Okay, so that that explains it. That makes more sense. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Interesting. His vocal heavens. 
section was really lovely place well there like it really grows this is great tell me a little bit about what, what we're listening the lyrics yeah because yeah, because there's so there's so much pain and there's so much suffering but there it, it's so melodically rich it's so i finally released your hand and let go of your far-fetched reasons i heard you say you don't love me any longer i bow my head and pretend that i don't look sad Aww. the pain that the pain that love gave let me learn to break away from the loneliness. I can't feel your warmth. It would be better if I forgot that you once cared for me. The emotional journey turns into broken hearted pain. I'm in love. I'm in love's labyrinth, searching for happiness. Only to find out that the satisfaction of love was merely a constraint. How am I able to see it clearly? Oh my god. This is rough. This is this is Literally lay G on the rain G outside of your, ha of your house. G G uh, I'm by myself and lonely. I have learned how to enjoy the sadness by myself. But why are my tears still flowing? I still don't understand how to convince myself. Uh, oh, I don't want to release your hand or let go of your leftover tenderness. We loved until the end. It was not your fault. At least I understood what the only relief of love was. The promises that love gave have become invisible shackles. My sweeping heart was unable to endure from the beginning to end. Oh my god. This Who nice broke line. this man's heart? <laughs> this is a nice, nice one. The comprehension that love gave really allows me to see clarity. Time to cut across love's lost warmth. And by myself and lonely, I have learned how to enjoy the sadness by myself. And there you go. So, translator notes I don't, I used using google translate okay that hurt so much that is beautiful in, in a very painful way that is fantastic and the chinese mm -hmm. sorry, sorry the chinese sorry. title of this song yes actually literally translates to one person's loneliness mm. but they decided to call it in english one lonely flame yeah, I, I see from that, that sentence right she used to be one of my flames an old flame of mine mm -hmm. one lonely one yeah so, a lonely flame. So I guess that's what you are to her now. You're a lonely flame.
Lots of emphasis, right, on sort of artificial uh, acquirement of love through art. Uh, the acquiring of artificial uh, uh, goods, so like Rolex, the, the heels. Means nothing, though. The Porsche. Right? Means absolutely nothing to him. Well, when you have no one to ride it with. Yeah. Or no one to tell the time to. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's interesting the choice of a teddy bunny, whatever you call like a bunny. Well, thing. it's because it's it's a it's a custom to give teddies to your loved ones, isn't it? Like it's not teddy, it's a bunny. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. Like plushy animals. But you say it also it represents this sort of a flame that also goes away with adulthood, of your child. Oh, okay. This sort okay. of childhood, this this eyes of a wonder, innocence. Mm -hmm. You're you're ignorant to pain, mm -hmm. right? When you're a kid. Yeah, I agree. And then you no longer need a teddy to go to bed. Mm. You're exhausted enough to sleep alone. You're exhausted to cry yourself to sleep every night. <laughs> that yeah. was in a, a funny thought. I don't know where I left. <laughs> I'll have a guess. Nerves. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Anyways, that was. Do you know who we should painful. check out? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that everything? I don't think so. Can can we? We got one more. Oh, nice, I think. Nice. Yes. I, I want to check out these people uh, called the Nines. And uh, no, but they're from Seventeen. Ah, uh, right. No, they're not. Yeah, then they Seventeen has thir thirteen members, and they they also have they like so people call them the Nine because they're like from China. Oh yeah. They train together. I think that's what it is. Maybe I'm totally blowing my own. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think it's the Nine. You just search up the Nine. The nine. They're pretty new. Ah, okay. It's like Sphinx. a brand new, like a brand new song. The okay. song is called Sphinx. Ah, okay. Because a lot of like wavy lays and uh, uh, and the uh, Jackson stuff we're obviously familiar with. Um, the nine. Yeah, uh, Sphinx. Sphinx. Yeah. They're from China. Yep. Huh. Seven it's a ladies ago. group. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a girls group. Ah, it's a girls group. And this qualifies in, into Chinese pop. Ah, okay, okay. Well, let's check it out. So I guess this would be us watching Chinese... C-pop, I guess we would call it. For the first time. Ever. I think it's called M-pop. No, it's called C-pop, isn't it? No, I think M-pop, like well, Mandarin pop. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be called C-pop because it's from China? Mm, I don't think that's how it goes. Really? Let me see. C pop. Yeah, C pop, mate. It's a music genre. What does C pop mean? Chinese popular music. Huh. M pop. C M pop. I'm being proof around today a lot today. Oh, M pop. It's a. It's a band. Huh. Then forget it. I'm just being totally crazy. Damn, it's a band with three number one hits in the Billboard. Oh wow! Holy shit! Oh, I mean. <laughs> oh wow! Anyways, let's say uh, let's. Okay, so this is the nine Sphinx. Okay. okay. Yeah, the nines come up a lot. <laughs> when to see the nine on fire and Okay. Let's get it. Can you put it in HD, please, mate? Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Why is that computer struggling so much? What is going on? I don't know. It's just being a little silly. It's too. like you get a good one, and then this one decides to break. Yeah, it's and like, ah, one... you don't need me. Uh, Might as well go die now. Yeah. Throw myself out the window. Apologies, go on. Oh, yeah, I can see now. 
Rob Heavy, I have to look for the lyrics. Yeah, me too. I, uh, I would like to know what they're talking about. The night Sphinx. Yes. Sphinx lyrics in English. The visuals are pretty cool though. Outfits are really dope. I like what they're doing with the makeup. It's really edgy. I should totally stra- start doing stuff like that. It's good inspo, right? Yeah. Makeup wise. Outfits yeah. wise. Be, uh, you know what it reminds me of? Like a bit, a, like mm. a, some chord progressions very popular in French pop and then some other ones but very obviously similar to like a, what's popping worldwide. They said like that's very popular worldwide. But it's like a mix. I'm gonna show you this song. Uh, it's popping in France at the moment. I, I I'll show you in a second. Okay. It's called um. So he's saying the nine on fire all night. Yeah, yeah. An- ancient Greek records says said Sphinx come to bring all the beings and unsolved trial all the intersections. Sphinx asked what the answer was. Oh, I thought it was ask what? That's why I said that. Go forward and decide if there's no end to this road. Yeah. From from rear, the nine is coming, warning you to step back. Enough or not, we're so dope. We control the stage and you're not qualified to intervene. Little tiger, dance. Uh, well, I sort of the T there. Little tiger, dance. The keyboard crackles, but we never care. Wild beast and wild fire can be wiped out by being trapped. It's unsolved progressive and you can't see me through. And then this bit is, although it's ever changing, we smoothly pass the test. Winner, la la la, I'm cool and hot. <laughs> and you can't resist, see you, bye bye. I'm not afraid of anything and I don't care what will happen. Braving minds and waves, I will answer for myself, I'll eventually arrive. And then the lyrics is, la 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 la. The chorus. Sorry, what did I say? The lyrics. The chorus. Uh, you have, you have Sphinx mystery curse. You easily break it. You, you watch out, I'll do it show, it's just about to start. So it's kind of like one of those songs. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's so rap heavy. It's quite long. Um, removing the mist of mystery, I scatter the denial. No longer doubt. Sphinx mystery cannot hold you back. Reshape each self. Okay. Something else I got in mind here. Although it's miraculous, we smoothly pass the test. I'm cool, I'm hot, and I'm an inv- and my invincible aura will never be removed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a flex song. You know? I want to know how long they've been... Because usually, early on, you get songs like this. Yes. Like, like we're like here introdu- to stay, dog. Yeah, you like know what I mean? Introduction. Okay, like, can I just find out really fast? Please? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, the Nine. Debut date. Debut date. 2020. Ah, uh, there it is, yes. Yeah. That, that explains it. It's cool, they're dope. All these bands from China, like Bomb Bomb Girls. Bomb. They're also coming out. It's a Chinese group. Mm. Oh, I'll be out. Bloody cool. hell. Well, look at this girl's name. I'm not going to try pronouncing that. <laughs> I, but, I was totally consumed by that, okay. But yeah, that that would be interesting to do like a... C-pop. No, no, I mean, basically doing it now, right? This is more like a general overview of yes. Chinese artists. It's not just pop, though. Right. Interesting. Yeah, go on, let's keep going. <laughs> Well, her voice is so peculiar. Yeah. They all 
that movie coming. Me too. Ooh, how cool. That real hit. Crowdy nut. Such a variety of it's like energy oh, packs. Damn, look though. at that shit. That's yeah. a Sphinx. Looks Benign. like a game. That it looks does. Like, I actually feel like I've just watched a trailer to a game. Me too. And like they're each like playable League characters. Like League of Legends. They're gonna start moving like that. Yeah. <laughs> like choose, choose your, your character. character. Yeah, they start beating the crap out of each other and stuff. Yeah, they do look feisty. It's dope. They're nice. So apparently they're very popular at the moment. Oh. But I mean, I wonder why. Well, Scroll down. Duh. There's a lot of production value and stuff in there. Absolutely, that was insane. But they, they just debuted the it, I think. The video concept I needed. 2020. Yep. That's awesome to Seven see a group that's just ago. so recent. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, that was a good choice. Well, I think that's a great nah, way mate, to finish. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, I think that's a great way to finish. I'm yeah. really looking forward to, like, more of these girls. I think they're dope. They got... They got something going on, obviously. No wonder why the whole of China, the whole of the world is like going over. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it. popular they are right now. Uh, it seems they are pretty popular. I mean, it got requested, so that's interesting to see. Mm. Um, but let us know maybe if, yeah, if there's other artists you'd like us to check out. And um, I think that they, because there's so many idols as well that also come from China mm -hmm. and are soloists and stuff like that. that but now it makes more sense, though. Now I understand why. What I don't the get, pool is so yeah. Rich, what I don't get is why move to Korea. That's, to a good, train. that's a good question. If 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 the C pop like like pop in in China is already such a huge market. Maybe could it be because of the training? What? Maybe. But they obviously trained. These are trained performers. True. So what what is it that drives them to move to Korea? I thought that was a good question. Internationality, maybe uh. broader audiences. Well, may, may, well, that's a good point. Maybe because the Chinese market is so uh, sort of difficult to Specific, get into. Specific, yeah. Uh, maybe then in the South Korean market, because they're still seeing how internationalized and globalized mm. a lot of these bands are becoming, right? That it's more, it's it's easier then to kind of transition from like Korea to like Indonesia or Korea to like uh, Japan. Kind of you become popular in the whole of Asia and then from there it kind of evolves to like Europe and, mm. you know, I think, especially I think now perhaps, with... Yeah, I think perhaps it might be the... Uh, the globalization aspect that Korean the Korean music industry might has I've might no have idea. right now. I'm but just it, guessing. Yeah, but it's a, it's an interesting question. I'm just asking as as a as a performer, like if I was. What would be the yeah? What would drive benefit? me? Yeah, what would drive me to go and train in Korea when you can train in your own country? and make a fantastic living out of that later. And also, like, one of the things is, like, a lot of these artists that have trained in Korea then return to China. Yeah. And then kill it in China as well. Yes. You know, so they're killing both markets. But I think it might be because of that. It might be because they're sort of the... The Chinese market might be too... Ex it might be exclusive. 
I because think it's it is. enough. It is. Yeah, it's it is. I actually read about it. Well, when we first discovered the singer, the show, the singer, the 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 whole point of it. Point of it was trying to get international artists into the Chinese market because it's so hermetic. They've got their own thing going, and it, it's is hugely successful, right? So I I do I do think perhaps. Perhaps might be the edge. Maybe that that, that would be the reason why, Could as be. a performer, you would want to go train in Korea. Also, just to mm. maybe see different things, different sounds, different inspirations. Also true. And also because it seems, yeah, South Korea is so globalized at this point. It's yeah, it, it's not common though. You wouldn't like so if you have something in your country, right? And they can offer just just as great results. It's not often that people go ahead and try to pick similar routes but outside of their countries maybe you know? that's what i'm saying maybe it's just because of the variety aspect of it yeah i mean that's mm. enough you know mm. like you you get people from all over the world i mean it's not like you don't get people from all over the world in china but it does seem to be the market specifically it does seem to be very like uh, inclusive of its own people mm. yeah and for the chinese market might be difficult to get into if you're not from china yeah 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 this was fun though i i like discovering new music new sounds i like seeing how the world takes on different interprets different genres yeah no and artistry like you know seeing how people perceive their music videos and how they they get then done into a physical thing to me that's really interesting it's really inspiring too to see how other people from different cultural backgrounds than like completely than, different part of the world. Yeah, absolutely. With absolutely different ways of thinking, then take on a, a, the same genres that I might that I like and and exploit them in a completely different light. And and it's a norm for them in this way. And for me, it's like a completely different, mind blowing experience. It's dope. I it's like awesome. doing that. Well, let us know. Um, yeah, what other artists maybe we should check out, and uh, if you do have any ideas for the future podcast. Uh, do let us know and do remember to tune in on Sunday because it's Valeska's uh, birthday. Ah, uh, yay! And, uh, pizza party, pizza party, pizza party! Well, as we cook, as we make desserts and stuff. Yeah, we're but not it... gonna be making pizzas. No, no, no. Hell no. Let's just order them. <laughs> I wouldn't want to ruin one of the things I like. Good point. You know? So, anyways. Yes. Yeah, thanks for watching and tune in on Sunday. Peace. Bye bye.